The other big story, India isn't ready for mega investments. That bitter indictment comes from the world's biggest steel mogul, Lakshmi Mittal. Frustrated with his experience in Orissa and Jharkhand, Mr. Mittal asked the Karnataka government for more assurances before he comes on board for a mega power project. We have to blame the whole country for this because we have not experienced this kind of growth and we did not experience this kind of interest in investments in India. Mm -hmm. And these states were not prepared. Neither the central government nor the states were prepared for this kind of interest in the steel industry. The world's biggest steel mogul has slammed his home country and the government has taken note. We are working on the proper platform for the government, but most of them we have uh, uh, worked on a very transparent and uh, the platforms are Sorry, said very much in order. Ellen Mittal's projects in Odisha and Jharkhand have been stuck for years. So today he didn't take any chances and refused to commit to a 30,000 crore rupee project he wants in Karnataka, much to the disappointment of the chief minister. The project would be one of Karnataka's biggest, with 10,000 jobs and spread over 4,000 acres. Although B.S. Yadurappa has assured him the land, Mittal wants cast iron promises. Can you change your priority to some other states, say like Karnataka? Which is possible which is possible because it, it, steel plants cannot be built in a day depending on the progress and depending on the various approvals and land acquisitions, mining approvals, the priorities can change. Sir, because we, we, will have to, we will have to produce the steel to supply to our domestic and sir, as you are not He wants to start within three months and we have promised him that we are going to give all the facilities within three months. Sir, one we are ready with him, we will work out. Mittal's stand is perhaps understandable because in Odisha, the work on his plant has been stuck for four years. Land has still not been acquired because of protests. We believe in the peaceful industrialization of the state and I have no information about Mr. Mittal's statement and things are progressing. Mittal, the world's biggest steel producer, is yet to open a plant in the land of his birth. He's eager to do so, not for any emotional reasons, but because India has one of the biggest reserves of iron ore and is one of the fastest growing markets for steel. But Mittal's patience is clearly wearing thin. It's a wake-up call from none other than Lakshmi Mittal. Whatever his motive, India needs to do much more for mega investments and find that fine balancing act for equitable growth and inclusive growth. In New Delhi, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV. Tuba.com